I'm David Roberts and I manage the technical documentation group here at Vintage Air. Today we're going to be talking about control panel calibration for Gen 4 SureFit control panels. Depending on the make and model of your vehicle, Gen 4 SureFit systems come equipped with one of two basic types of control panel kits. The first type, like this one for the 73 to 87 Chevrolet pickup, is a fully electronic control panel that serves as a complete replacement for the OEM controls. This type of control panel plugs directly into the electronic control module on your evaporator unit and no calibration is necessary. The second type of control panel kit that is shipped with some Gen 4 SureFit systems converts your mechanical OEM control panel to electronic operation by way of our patented cable converter assemblies. For this type of setup, it is necessary to calibrate the control panel to ensure that the stroke of your control panel levers, or knobs, is translated into precise control of the fan speed, temperature blend, and mode door position. This is a critical yet simple procedure, and it may be repeated as many times as necessary to get it right. To prepare for calibration, you will need to attach the supplied white ground jumper wire to a suitable chassis ground. This jumper wire must be easily connected to the gray programming wire located in the main Gen 4 wiring harness next to the compressor relay. During the calibration procedure, you will connect the white jumper to the gray program wire, which will teach the Gen 4 ECU the upper limits of the control levers or knobs. When you do this, the blower will momentarily change speeds, signaling that the upper limits have been learned. You will then move the levers or knobs to the opposite extreme positions of their travel, and then disconnect the white jumper. The blower will again change speeds, signaling that the lower limits have been learned and that the calibration procedure is complete. Now, to begin the calibration procedure, turn on the ignition switch, but do not start the engine. Then, move all of the control levers or knobs to the position shown in step two on the second page of the calibration procedure in your control panel instruction booklet. The page will look similar to this one. Next, connect the white jumper wire to the gray program wire and wait for the blower speed to momentarily change. This will take about five seconds. Once you hear the blower speed change, move all of the levers or knobs to the position shown in step four on the second page of the calibration procedure in your control panel instruction booklet. And then disconnect the white jumper wire from the gray program wire. The blower speed will again change briefly, indicating that the calibration procedure is complete. After that, you can confirm proper operation of your controls and, if necessary, repeat the procedure. If you do need to repeat the calibration procedure, keep in mind that you will need to repeat the entire procedure from start to finish in order to attain proper calibration. When you're finished, be sure to cover the program wire connector with electrical tape to prevent accidental contact with the chassis ground. On behalf of the entire team, I thank you for choosing Vintage Air, where we're all about keeping the windows up and the temperature down.